Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Today we are going to the Hydrocity Zone, Sonic 3's water level. It's probably... I would go as far as to say it's the best water level in the whole series, although, um, you know, Labyrinth Zone from Sonic, the original Sonic, was pretty good. I'm not so sure about Aquatic Ruin Zone from Sonic 2, that was eh. But this is certainly the most well-known zone, and unlike... Um, unlike, uh, what was it, Aquatic Ruin Zone, there's pretty much no choice but to be underwater. And watch this. Shortcut. Wonder how many of you knew about this shortcut. Very nifty. Very nifty in getting to other places. It's best to do this while you have the, uh, invincibility, so you will not... Uh, yeah, up to the fan, okay. And an extra life. But you want to go left here. And why would you want to go left? Because... Whoa, hold on. I said... You would want to go left... Because... There's a surprise here. Actually, I'm just kidding. There's no surprise here whatsoever. I confused this for another area. Ah, uh, silly me. Going along looking so smart until something like that comes along. So we'll scoot along the outside of the water and beat up on some foes. Yes, this level can be very fast. Whoa. Oop, went by that too fast. Yeah, I have a habit of skipping a lot of special stages just because, or bonus stages just because I don't really need too much from them a good chunk, portion of the time. So I just scoot on by them. Whoa. All right, we'll bop you on the head. Yeah, bopping those guys opens new uh, passageways that were um, previously not open. Oh, and one cool thing about the water shield is it allows you to breathe underwater indefinitely. And the funnier thing is, it doesn't allow Tails to breathe underwater indefinitely, so you can be all peachy hanging out, but Tails will drown. <laughs> it's kind of funny. In Sonic 2, Tails didn't come back to you when you were underwater, but in Sonic 3, he does. He swims as well as he can fly. Ah, this is what I was thinking about. A little special stage. As I said before, we don't have to do the same one again. We are pretty much teleported on to the next one. But I still don't want to fail too many times because, you know, the opportunity to get rings does decrease. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, uh, these Xbox 360 wireless controllers. They're not the same as the Sega Genesis controllers I'm used to. Epic fail, bone. Epic fail. Boom. I love coming out of those because Tails always gets flung forward. Actually, I didn't want to really go in there anyway, so... Yes. Actually, it's probably for the best because I don't want to be supersonic too much and spoil the fun of seeing the levels regularly. Alright. Let's jump over this guy. He's not too hard. Alright, here we go. Ouch. Well, I timed that wrong. He has a spin cycle like this. Not really harmful, it just sort of messes you up. This boss is really tricky as Knuckles, though. Because he doesn't jump as high. But not something we have to worry about right now. Alright. Yeah, more rings for us. You want to get them now because you won't get a chance in Act 2. Because you immediately get sucked down, as you will see. Alright. The one thing that begins Act 2, this used to terrify many people as a kid. Not me so much because I became good at it rather quickly, but... Advancing Wall of Doom time! Oh my, what will I ever do? Alright. Extra life over here. In the original Sonic 3, that was a spring that sprung you backwards, but they changed it to an extra life. Which is like the exact opposite. But yes, you can't see it, but there is an advancing wall of doom. I'm going really fast, and I never even saw the wall, so... This portion of the level is not too hard if you uh, know what you're doing. One thing you might notice in uh, this game is that the music between Act 1 and Act 2 actually changes. Like, it's the same song, but it's a variation on the same song. Which is kind of neat. Alright, let's go in here. Don't have that many rings. Could do with a little boost. 
Also, you don't need 50 rings to activate the bonus stages anymore. You just need 20. And what bonus stage you get depends is depends entirely on how many rings you have. If you have 20 to 34 rings, you get this. If you have 35 through 49 rings, you get the glowing sphere stage. And if you get 50 through 65, you get the third one, which we have not yet visited. Um, which is the gumball machine stage. Now, keep in mind that it repeats every 15. So every 15 rings, you get a new special stage, and it just goes around and around and around. And another thing to remember is that you can tell what kind of special stage you're going to get by the color of the stars that orbit around the signpost. If you have the white stars, you're getting the gumball stage. If you have the light colored stars, you're getting the slot machine stage. And if you're getting the, the uh, richer colored lights, then you're getting the um, glowing spheres. One thing though, um, sometimes there's like a, a middle area where it's kind of, uh, kind of dark but isn't, because it's like a gradient, you know. And sometimes it's hard to tell in that gradient which, if you're getting the gumball, or I mean, if you're getting the glowing spheres or the slot machine. But if you play it long enough, you can tell in even those cases. All right, we're gonna come over here because there's something for us. Uh, there's nothing for us. Once again, I'm confusing areas with other areas. It's pretty sad. But yeah, there is an area that is similar to this, where you can actually get another shot at a special stage. But it's not here, as we've seen. Okay. Yes, I feel really embarrassed about having lost twice <laughs> for stupid reasons. So... We'll see if we can do better in the future. I mean, I know there's other... There are other things that I'm missing because I'm just zipping through this at, you know, a very high rate of speed. Oh, here's another secret. Go left here, jump over these rings, and you get an extra life. There's really no reason to go down here, but doing it anyway because another extra life due to rings. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you can get a ridiculous number of lives in this game. All right, and up and around we go. There is a shortcut if you go up right here, but it's pretty hard to get to when you're Sonic, so I'm just gonna skip it. Maybe we'll come back to it when we're Tails. Oh yes, this is what I was thinking of. All right, special stage, ahoy! Number six. And like I said, none of these are very hard, so... To sit back, chill, and try not to make any mistakes. Yeah, there are people who just can't do these for whatever reason. Either because they panic or they don't know exactly when to push the buttons. Because you kind of have to push the buttons a little bit before you get to what you want to go on. Because if you push it right on it, it might not turn you until after. And that's no good. Nobody likes that. And it is possible to jump over two red spheres, but you really have to time it right, so you want to uh, get this right the first time. Yeah, this this world is sphere. Actually, it's not really spherical. It's sort of like a um, cylinder. It's like a funky, a wonky cylinder of, of sorts. It's like a map that wraps on the X and the Y. It's not, it's not really easy to explain, but... Alright, we're going to close off this area. Can I get this? This might be the last area. The last interior area we have to get. Alright, we got our perfect. Now we just have to be really careful not to screw this up. Alright. One, two, three, four. Only four more. Yeah! And there we go. Finally, the fail streak ends, and we secure another emerald. I'm very happy about this. Oh, and watch. I think we're going to get two extra lives here. 
Yeah, that's the thing. The perfect gives you an extra life, and sometimes if you are in the right area, point-wise, the rings can get you over by itself. I mean, these extra lives and continues, there's no way even a small portion of them are going to be used, so it's kind of a waste, but it's kind of cool to ha have, because it's kind of cool to show off. When I was a kid, every save slot I had was a 100% uh, completed game um, that had every emerald and 99 lives. It was pretty cool, I have to admit. We're going to try to get up here one more time. It's, it's kind of hard because you have to really jump at the right moment. But it doesn't matter because you can go this way too. Alright. I kind of want to hold on to my rings because... I don't know, it's one of those things where collecting rings is cool, but it doesn't really count unless you finish a stage with them in my book. You know? So we're going to try to hang on to them. Grab ourselves a water shield if we can, and I know there, there are some, you know, later on. Alright, we're going to snag this. And we're going to go up. Come on, blow me up. Yes, be like TNT and blow me up. Up and up and up. And onward we go. Whee! And you can time when these things are going to end because... Oop, I think this is glowing spheres. Yeah! Let's try to get a water shield. It's going to be helpful to us. Chances are we'll probably end up with a flame shield, though. Or no shield. Okay, here's our water shield. Uh. Yeah, we got it. Alright, we got a flame shield and got the water shield again, so... Good stuff. Flip our way up. Just like a cat. Like a cat? What? Flip like a cat? Oh, Flippy Cat. That's what I'm thinking. Not sure why I'm thinking of Flippy Cat, but... He's pretty awesome, so... I don't blame me for thinking about him. Get me that ring! Oh, whoa. Okay, this is a little precarious. Ooh, extra life. Ah, screw that one. I want to get the one at the top. Yeah, 80 rings are in the ones at the very top, so you really want to get those, if nothing else. Yeah, the ring amounts start at 10, but they go all the way up to 80 at the top. And I believe that's all we're going to... Yep, all we're going to get. So let's surge on through the end. Ow. So much for that water shield. I really don't want to lose my 440 rings, but... You know, if it happens, it happens. Alright. Probably shouldn't be taking stupid risks like jumping between uh, platforms and deathly spikes, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, and here we go. It's too bad you don't get any more extra lives for rings exceeding 200. You get for 100 and 200. Oh, wait. I always love doing that. And now we are once again shielded. And we're going to make our way up. Yeah, sometimes if you jump in just the right area, when you clear the water, you sort of do a weird little dolphin jump. It's a, a glitch, I think. It's fun to exploit. Oh no, Knuckles, not you. Aw, oh, you suck. Alright. We go through here, get another special stage, which I'm going to ignore just because, I don't know, I'm happy with what I have. This boss can be hard, but if you have a water shield, you can just bounce into him like this. Yeah, his uh, little spout draws you into him. So you want to be careful of that. Oh, crap. Now we have to do this the, the actual way. Launch me in the air, you jet of water. All right. What you want to do is get launched by the jet of water, and then jump in the right area where you can hit him. Like that. Alright. And also, you can stand on top of this thing and score another hit on him if you want. Alright. And he's finished, yeah. And we're almost certainly going to get an extra life because we have so many rings. Aw, oh, it's wonderful. Oh man, so those are the first two zones. 
I hope you've been enjoying this as much as I've been enjoying playing this. I can't... I don't know if you tell, but... I don't know if you can tell, but I still freaking love this game. Alright, here we go. See you next time, everybody. Goodbye.